Hi Capricorn, Rye here. Wanted to do a reading for you guys. I just did an amazing reading for the sign of Pisces. So if that is in your chart, please check it out. I got so excited. I disassembled my little workstation here, forgetting I was going to do another Capricorn reading. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. Spirit, what do we have for my Cappies, please? Any messages or guidance for Capricorn? Please and thank you. One more shuffle, because that didn't go well. There we go. Spirit, what messages do we have? Can I have three cards, please and thank you? Ooh, Ten of Swords. That came out for you guys earlier. Mmm. Three of Wands. Or excuse me, Three of Swords. I feel like this is a good reading, though. What is this? Ah! No, I didn't pull that out like that. All right. Lack of confidence. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles or the, the Queen of Wands is going to come out. Because those are actually my confidence cards, too. Ooh. Oh, what did I say? <laughs> oh my goodness. So here's what happened. I knew this was good. I knew this was good. Uh, I knew this was good. So, Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, Six of Wands in Reverse, freaking page of swords so here's what I have first I have the ten of swords somebody betrayed you guys you guys were betrayed by somebody it's like this person kept doing things to you and what it makes me think of is that this person had already broken your heart but you stayed that's how it got to the ten of swords this person broke your heart multiple times for some of you, you even contributed to breaking your heart because you stayed way longer than you should have. And there is no judgment because yours truly, I have done that. But with the Ten of Swords, somebody really betrayed you. They betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back. They probably lied to you about it. They probably tried to make you feel like it was you. It's your fault. This happened because you did this. Or they just outright lied about it altogether. Um... And so we have the Three of Swords. This person just repetitively kept breaking your heart. It's almost like you gave the person chance after chance. And you stayed so long you didn't even realize that you were, your confidence was diminishing. Your self-confidence and self-worth was diminishing. And what is so funny is this person was a damn page. And this person may actually be thinking about reaching out to you guys right now. And you know why, Capricorn? Because you were the abundant one in the relationship. You were the abundant, uh, abundant one in the relationship. And actually, right now, you guys are focused on your abundance, your nine of pentacles. You're focused on taking care of yourself, taking care of the things that you need to take care of, doing the work making the proper changes, planting the seeds, and then pulling out your harvest because you earned whatever successes you have right now, you earned those. You had to learn balance. This is something a lot of you struggle with when you're in a relationship because you overly give. So what you're going to have to what you're going to have to do in the future, and I hope this makes sense because when I look at this, this makes me think of your light and this makes me think of your passion for someone. You have to be sure that there's balance between your light and passion for someone else because a lot of times the passion is up here and your light is down here and your light goes down here so low to where it almost goes out kind of like this. So here you guys are finding balance, you're, 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 you're prioritizing, you know how to prioritize better now 
because you have this period of working on yourself. And then I have this, I have the Queen of Pentacles energy. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody confident. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody to me that kind of commands respect. The Queen of Pentacles is my match my energy person. And with these branches coming out of her, it's because she's an earth energy. Which we are, my fellow Capricorns. Um, but to me, it kind of comes out like she, she senses things that people don't realize. Like she has a way of sensing energy. And she's also my, my diva or my, my sir, my man, that is kind of like match her, his or her energy. Queen of Pentacles energy is the type of person that's like, if you're not contributing as much as I'm contributing, you might need to just leave because whatever you won't do, somebody else will. Because you're not settling anymore, Capricorn. You're not settling anymore. This is somebody really comfortable with who he or she is. Very comfortable with who they are. No more changing to fit into what someone else likes. You're not changing to, to make somebody like you. If somebody doesn't like you as you are, then they can leave. Because if you really think about your relationships, you are doing all the bending. You are doing all the changing, you are doing all of the bending, and that's not happening anymore. So this is why the Queen of Pentacles for me when I do tarot is my match my energy person. She's the person that's like, if you're coming into this, uh, he or she has responsibilities that need to be taken care of. They're going to be taken care of whether they are with somebody or not. So if you're going to come into the Queen of Pentacles life, you need to match that energy. Meaning you need to be giving just as much as he or she is giving or you just need to get out of the way. Because if you can't give just as much energy and put in as much effort as the Capricorn, then you're merely a distraction. You're merely, merely a distraction and Capricorn really doesn't have time for distractions right now. This is about you focusing on what makes you happy, not what makes somebody else happy. In the past, you were focused on trying to make someone else happy, trying to make somebody happy that wasn't even happy with themselves or, and that doesn't have to be the case for everyone, or trying to make somebody happy when your responsibility was supposed to be for yourself. You were trying to make someone else happy and then in the end, you were the unhappy one. So this is about you being happy, doing the things that bring you joy, continuing to let that beautiful light radiate from you, having that wonderful energy that draws people in. But be mindful with that wonderful energy, you attract all kinds of people, all kind of energy. Low vibrational, high vibrational, dark, light. So this is about you being focused on the things that bring you joy and bring you warmth and make you feel good inside. Trusting. Trusting that you have the power to manifest whatever it is that you want. I don't even know why I said that, but I did. So we're going to go with it. But... You knowing that you are in alignment with the things that are meant for you. This is a person to me that's like really, really having faith at this time. And knows that the universe has his or her back. Even though this is a happiness card. Even though this is a happiness card. So that is what I'm going to leave with you Capricorn. I don't feel like I need to pull any other cards. Because I feel like if I do I'm going to mess up the reading. So... <laughs> We're going to go with that. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to tap the like button for me. And until next time, love you. Bye.